So I ask you guys, which ones of my favorite stretches or poses would you like to learn? Last week we did the pancake fold and coming in at number two was the bridge pose. Now for the bridge pose, we're gonna need a lot of mobility in our shoulders, which is why I am already working on that. We're gonna need a lot of spinal mobility, especially in the extension phase. We're gonna need a lot of anterior mobility, meaning our hips, our quads, our abdominals, chest, shoulders on the front, and our arms being able to move backwards as far as possible. There are gonna be a couple of more advanced exercises you don't have to do them. There are other exercises for beginners also in this video. So depending on what level you are, you can either choose to do the harder or more advanced exercises or start out with the beginner friendly ones. If you're ready, we're gonna get into it right now. So for our first exercise, we're gonna start with shoulder rotations. Now, you can either do this with a resistance band or if you have a little bit more mobility, you can use a stick. Depending on how close you grip, you're gonna require more or less mobility. Two or three rounds of symmetrical rotations, maybe 12 repetitions for each round and asymmetrical rotation, left side, right side, switch direction, left side, right side, and try and stay as extended in your arms as possible. When we're doing the symmetrical rotations, we're pulling our shoulders up, back as far as we can, down all the way, and coming back forward. And when we do asymmetrical rotations, one arm is always fixed, unmoving, and the other arm is doing the movement. Moving on to one of my favorite mobility exercises, the butcher's block. And for this one, we are gonna start out with our elbows on an elevation. We're gonna move backwards just enough so we can push our upper body down towards the ground, opening up our chest and our shoulders and moving into spinal extension. Now from here, we can pull in our arms, push downwards so we get a nice little stretch in our triceps as well as in our chest musculature and push down all the way. Pull in your arms, push down, lengthen the triceps and then extend your arm, move into full spinal extension and repeat just a couple of times. I would say eight to 10 repetitions per set and two to three sets, just so we can limber up our thoracic spine as well as the connections to our shoulders, chest and arms. So here we have one of the more advanced exercises. If you can do it, by all means, try it out. We're gonna do one static hold for 20 to 30 seconds, moving on to a second static hold, but this time we're gonna pull our legs in to go into a nice arch in our lumbar spine. And to top it off, we're gonna do dynamic leg raises. For one, this is gonna strengthen our core, but it's also gonna give us some amazing thoracic mobility, especially because we have a nice load pushing down on our spine and curving it where we need it to. Then we're gonna pull our our legs in and do something similar you could say those are reverse crunches basically we're pulling our closed legs a little bit further in and then going into more thoracic extension and repeating the whole process a couple of times so now that we've worked a little bit on our chest our shoulders and our thoracic mobility we're gonna add one more exercise here, doing rotations. Push forward, open up, and switch. From here, we want to feel a nice little stretch in our chest and biceps insertions, as well as our frontal deltoids. Move back, switch, move back, switch. So now we want to include our hip flexors and our quads a little bit more and maybe even our abdominals while going into full spinal extension. 
So we're gonna look for a wall and move back with our lower leg as closely as possible, having our knee in full contact with the wall. Now by doing slight adjustments from pushing back to pushing forward, we're gonna have a nice little stretch here in our quadriceps. The further we push back and the more we push forward, the more pull we're gonna have in our hip flexors and in our lower abdominals. And as a bonus, we're gonna use a little bit of a load. So light weight, we're gonna grab a kettlebell or whatever weight you have. We're gonna bring it into full contact with the wall. And now every time we move forward, we're gonna stay in full contact with the wall, giving us the perfect arch for our back, going into full spinal extension, opening up our shoulders a little bit more. And here in the front, you're gonna notice Hip flexor is getting stretched really well. Moving backwards, quadriceps is getting stretched really well. And all we need to do is bend the front leg or extend the front leg. 12 repetitions. Hold half a second here. Hold half a second here. And then, of course, you're going to repeat the whole process on the other side. Final exercise, before we start bridging, we're going to sit down in this position, but we're going to open our feet outwards. So we have a little bit of an external rotation in our knees and enough space to put our bum down all the way. There are four levels for this exercise and I've shown them before. Level number one, really easy, hands back here on your feet and you're gonna push forward. Now, if you've been doing the other exercises we did before, you're not gonna notice any stretch here, which means you can move down to level number two. And it's very important that you flex your glutes and your lower back and push upwards as far as you can. So we have a nice little arch up here and get the benefits of the stretch. You're not feeling any stretch in level two, move down to level three, and of course, push up. And final bonus level, you're not feeling any stretch, not in your quads, not in your hip flexors, and you wanna address this. You're gonna bring your arms up here, and please be careful with this exercise. It puts a lot of pressure on our knees if we don't do it correctly, but we're basically just gonna push up, arch fully, and then move back down again. Knees to the ground, knees up, knees to the ground, and knees up. Repeat a couple of times, as I said, 10 to 12 repetitions, and two sets should be mighty fine. If you are doing level one, two, three, we're gonna do it statically. We're gonna hold 20 seconds. And then in between sets, we're gonna move into a forward fold just so we can relax our spine a little bit before we move back again. So we finally made it to the bridge. We're gonna start out in a laying down position. We're gonna pull our feet really close. We're going to move our hands right there beneath our shoulders. Now this is going to take a little bit of strength too, but all we need to do from here is push upward. Hold up and push. Now depending on where you are more limber, you can have a little bit more shoulder or a little bit more lumbar mobility. And if you push forward here, you're gonna notice your lower abdominals getting more of a workout. And if you push here, you're gonna notice your lower back goes into more of an extension. And we can move forward from here, backward from here. We can move up on our toes to increase the range of motion too. And we're pushing up as far as we can. And then slowly, Move down, lay down, pull your legs in, take a couple of deep breaths, and then repeat the whole process again. You made it, you absolute legend. If you go through all of these exercises, see that you do it maybe two times a week, go through all of them, two or three sets for each, holding 20 to 30 seconds for the static stretches and doing 10 to 14 repetitions for the dynamic ones, I can guarantee you, you will be bridging so quickly, you're not even gonna know what happened. 
With that said, that's sadly all the time I have for you today. I still have a couple of classes to teach, but if you like the video, like the video and subscribe because we have new videos every single day. I'm not even joking. Captain Cairo, peace out.